Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahbatu fillah, the question was asked about Sunnah Ruatib fil Asr And According to the Ulama And we'll get to this shortly that there is no sunnah ruatib for asr but there is perhaps qada for a salat after asr and we'll get to the evidence we'll quickly go over these ahadith and one of the most important ahadith regarding this matter is the hadith of um habiba wa um habiba ta um al mu'minin radiyallahu ta'ala anha قالت سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من صلى اثنتا عشر ركعة في يوم في يومه وليلة بني له بهن بيت في الجنة رواه مسلم وفي رواية تطوع The hadith of Um Habiba رضي الله تعالى عنه makes clear for us the sunnah ruatib or it uh, tells us about the sunnah ruatib in general. And she said, the mother of the believers, Um Habiba, she said, I heard the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, whoever prays 12 rakat in the day and the night, uh, a house in paradise will be built for him. And this is in Muslim. So this hadith makes it, uh, affirms for us, the sunnah ruatim. And Litirmidhi Nahu Wazada Arba'an Qabl al Dhuhr, Urakatain Badaha, Urakatain Bad al Maghrib, Urakatain Bad al Isha, Urakatain Qabl Salat al Fajr. And in Sunan Tirmidhi, in a hadith, it's also similar to that, but it in that, that narration it mentioned four before Dhuhr, as we uh, given the details of the first hadith, uh, wa Rakatain after it, and Rakatain after Maghrib, Rakatain Bad al Isha, Rakatain Qabla Salat al Fajr. So actually, that hadith right there in Tirmidhi is a hadith that Imam al Albani declared Sahih, and that affirms for us the Sunnah of Ruatim. After Fajr, uh, uh, before Fajr, the two. Uh, before Dhuhr, Right before Dhuhr, after the Adhan of Dhuhr, four. After Dhuhr, two. Uh, after Maghrib, two. After Isha, two. And that is in accordance with the Hadith, uh, the Hadith in Tirmidhi. And that affirms uh, for, for us the Ithna Ashur Raka, or the 12 Raka, that was mentioned in the Hadith of Um Habiba. Also in another Hadith, it mentions Willi Khamsa Anha Men Hafid al Arba Kabla Dhur wa Arba Badaha Haramahullah Ta'ala Al Nar. And in uh, another narration of Um Habiba on Um Habiba, it says whoever uh, preserves or uh, not preserves but whoever is regular in Praying four rakats before Dhuhr and four rakats after Dhuhr, Allah will make the hellfire prohibited for his face. For this, Haram Allah Ta'ala, Allah Na, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will make the hellfire prohibited for him. And this is in Tirmidhi, Wa Hasanahu, Wa Ibn Khuzayma, Wa Sahahu. Uh, in this or uh, in this hadith, one zero nine. This is a uh, hadith. أخرجوا أبو داود وغيره وصحوا ال الباني في صحيح سنن أبي داود. So in this hadith, uh, this is hadith uh, Sunan Abi Dawood and Imam al Albani declared it as an authentic hadith. However, this hadith does not have the strength uh, and the strength as far as the afal or the actions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The other hadith that we mention in Tirmidhi and 
uh, which gave the details, we know is, is Sunnah Mu'akkida. It's what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did and the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala and Majmain. So that affirms for us those hadith. Uh, and then there are many other ahadith which illustrate, but that's the most important regarding our mas'ala, our issue. In accordance with that, to recap, <coughs> the sunnan ru'atib uh, from the most affirmed sunnah ru'atib is sunnah, sunnah al-fajr. And this is with the ittifaq or in, in agreeance, agreeance or consensus of the four madahib, the madahib of uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, wa Imam uh, Malik, wa Imam Shafi'i, wa Imam Ahmed, rahimahumullah jami'an. And along with that, the Sunnah of Dhuhr we mentioned, and that it is four. Uh, before Dhuhr and two after it. And that's in accordance with the hadith we mentioned. And we mentioned the Maghrib, which is Rakatain after it. And we mentioned the Isha, which is <coughs> two Rakats after Salat al Isha. And that is the Sunnah Mu'akkida that is contained in that hadith, the hadith of Umm Habiba. As far as Salat al-Asr, so I want to get to the main mesala or main issue that we were discussing. And that issue, a sunnah al-Asr. Sunnah, sunnah al-Asr. Laysa lil-Asr sunnah. Ratiba. Mu'akkida. Wa in kana yustahabbu salat kabluha. So this is very important, Ibarra, to answer your question very straightforward. There is no sunnah ru'atib, you know, regular, uh, that's mu'akkida, that the Prophet ﷺ did. No regular sunnah that the Prophet ﷺ did for asr prayer. Even if it is recommended, for Salat before it. So meaning after the Adhan of Salat al-Asr and you enter the Masjid or what have you, you can pray and there's Ajr of course from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it is not a prohibited time and it is a, so it's mustahab to do that, it's recommended. Then he said, uh, salat kablaha. And he said, al-arba. And that in is, is in accordance with the four madhabs uh, that we already mentioned. And so that has to do with the sunnah of Asr. And I don't know of any other difference with regards to that, any dalil or anything as far as a sunnah, and as the Sheikh said, uh, of Asr and being after Asr, because that's a waqt of nahi, that's one of the prohibited times for Salat. Except unless you're making qada, you're making up. So some ulama mentioned that if it's qada, even qada of the sunnah, that you missed your regular sunnah and you were making it up, and of course it wouldn't be a regular, so it's not considered ru'atib and it's not, it's qada, it's making up, then that would be the case of praying two rakats or whatever after asr. But otherwise, no, this is a prohibited time. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said was correct was from Allah Azza wa Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.